Hello, my name is Jennifer Bell and I am the author of the Uncommoners series. And the first book is called The Crooked Sixpence and the second book is called The Smoking Hourglass and that is out now. And I'm about to read you an extract from The Smoking Hourglass. And at this point in the story, our heroes, Ivy and Seb, are trapped in uh, the room in the middle of a carousel and they're trapped there with three dead creatures who are very dangerous. Mick the Stretch, who has three arms, Squasher, who is uh, really big and really slimy, and Jack in the Green, who is an uncommon assassin who's working for the dirt, and he looks a bit like a giant praying mantis. And Ivy is hidden behind a rug against the wall, so they can't see her. But in order to be safe, Seb has had to masquerade as a grimp, um, and he's had to play a game around a table with these three dead creatures, a very dangerous, uncommon board game called Grivens. Rips, make the stretch, look suspiciously at Seb. You all right? Oh, uh, Seb laughed nervously as the room fell quiet. Ivy was trembling. Think, think. She could jump out and shout surprise, but she was fairly certain that she and Seb would be killed within seconds if she did that. In her panic, she scuffed the back of the bearskin rug with her hand. The rug swayed. Ivy jolted. It was uncommon. Don't you like your toenails? Squasher asked Seb. You haven't eaten any. He mumbled something that resembled, I'm not very hungry. The table creaked as Jack in the Green leaned forward, resting on his pointy green elbows. Not hungry. I've never met a grimp who wasn't hungry. Ivy knew by the tone of his voice that she'd run out of time. She had one idea left, but it was completely crazy. Taking a deep breath, she swung her arms and leapt up towards the top of the bearskin rug, ripping it down off its hooks. The bear's head roared with glee as its hide fell through the air and stopped, hovering just off the ground. Ivy grabbed Seb's rucksack off the floor and sprang on top, trying to recall the stance people assumed when they were riding on common rugs. Seb gawped. Ivy? His voice was shrill. The faces of the three dead players showed first surprise and then anger. Jack in the Green's long arms twitched. But before any of them could move, there was a sound like a cork popping, and a frayed Hessian sack appeared in the middle of the floor. Shaggy dark hair and a brown face poked through the opening. Valian, Seb exclaimed, his voice climbing higher still. In the space of a second, Valian seemed to take in the scowling faces of Mick the Stretch and Squasher, Seb's terrified expression, and Jack in the Green's glowing yellow eyes. Everyone was silent for a moment, and then all hell broke loose. Kill them! Jack in the Green's wings burst from his suit as he rose into the air, aiming straight for Ivy. With a growl, Mick the Stretch climbed onto the Griven's table. Launching himself out of the great uncommon bag, Valian rolled aside just in time to dodge Mick as he thumped down on the floor, attempting to pulverise anything that moved. Squasher started towards Seb. Ivy, Seb shouted, do something! Ivy took hold of the fur that had once covered the bear's shoulders and tugged it hard, steering the rug towards the ceiling. Get on! With a massive leap, Seb caught hold of the edge and clambered aboard, narrowly avoiding a double blow from Squasher's slimy arms. Valian skidded under the Griven's table, escaping Mick the stretch. Ivy saw him fishing around in his inside pocket. She caught a glimpse of three gunmetal ball bearings in his hand before he tossed them into the air. And then everything was floating. Ivy's stomach shot into her mouth as she was lifted up towards the ceiling. She was weightless, like an astronaut in space. She clutched the bearskin, trying to pull herself down, but the rug was wobbling all over the place. Seb splayed his fingers through the bear's fur, trying to hang on. What's happening? His hair was standing on end. A few metres away, the game table rose into the air along with a confetti of Griven's pieces. The ball bearings are uncommon. From a Newton's cradle, Valian shouted, his arms flailing as he swam out from underneath it. They suspend gravity. With an effort, he managed to work his way towards them, pulling himself into Seb's back. Mick the Stretch and Squasher bellowed furiously as they hovered up to where Jack in the Green was floundering against the ceiling. You cannot escape me, he snarled. Two of his arms darted towards Ivy like long green spears. Seb kicked one of them away. Ivy ducked to avoid the other. We need an exit, she cried. She hadn't thought that far ahead. She urged the rug towards the wall it had once been covering, but it moved incredibly slowly, as if travelling through molasses. Seb slipped his uncommon drumsticks out of his sleeves and beat them as hard as he could in the direction of the wall. With an ear-splitting crash, the wood panelling smashed and a hole the size of a small car opened onto the carousel. The silver figures stopped dancing and gaped as the bearskin found a turn of speed and zoomed through the gap. Ivy pulled hard on the bear's shoulders so that they swooped up out of the reach of any silver arms and accelerated high over the dead end. Angry roars sounded behind them. 
an orb of green light shot past Ivy's head and landed with a crackle in the stubby branches of a withered black tree below. What was that? Seb cried, throwing his hands protectively towards his hair. Ivy heard the thud of wings and looked over her shoulder. Jack in the green was in hot pursuit, his yellow eyes pointing in their direction. Valian fumbled with the great uncommon bag, muttering something into it. Ivy, do you think you can fly us into the bag on the back of this thing? Any time now will be good, Seb shouted as he was narrowly missed by another orb. Ivy tugged the bear's fur with one hand and then banked left out of the way. I can try. Okay, here goes. Valian hurled the bag out in front of them and it billowed up like an old windsock. Ivy aimed the bear's head for the dark hole. Everybody get down and hope this works. And that is where I leave you.